What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of More Seasoning. I am your host, Farnham, and we are back. It has been six months. The world went to hell and came back. Things have been crazy. I took a little bit time off for myself, but we are back and we are ready to drop consistent videos of incredible food for you guys. Don't forget, we are almost at 50,000 subscribers. So before we go any further, just scroll down, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Let's grow this channel. Let's get this thing popping so we can get some cool guests on here to try this bomb food. And without further ado, I brought back something for the first video that is incredible. It's super filling, incredibly flavorful, a classic. I'm gonna be giving you guys my take on a bomb Philly cheese steak. And it's gonna look a little something like this. So the Philly cheese steak, my take on it is actually super simple. You don't need that many ingredients at all. What you need to do obviously is first start with ribeye. I asked my butcher at Publix if he could just thinly slice it because that's how they do it in Philly. So thinly sliced fresh ribeye, boar's head white American cheese, red pepper, yellow pepper, one white onion, baby portobello mushrooms, mayo, not Miracle Whip, that's gross, grapeseed oil, fresh hoagie rolls, pepper, and salt. All right, so all we have to do in order to get ready to cook this is a little bit of prep work. We're just gonna cut our vegetables up, thin strips, with a full pepper, run the knife through those strips. This is a super simple recipe, but if you do it the right way, it's amazing. Listen, my whole life I've always tried to make these, like before I really started cooking, and they always sucked. I could never make them like from the Philly cheese steak shop that I had close to my house. I could never get it right, but I spent a little bit and perfected this and I'm telling y'all it's amazing. Cut that yellow pepper up. And then honestly, we'll just do the whole onion. It's gonna be a lot, but we'll do the whole onion. And then with this, you're not gonna wanna go super fine. So what I usually do is I just kinda... Goodbye. Cut a few strips right down the middle, maybe like three or four. And then I come through, just do some nice chunks because when we saute these, they're gonna break up either way. Hold on, let me peel this off. Speaking of peeling, before you peel out and exit out of this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> and then lastly, we're just gonna do like half this tub of the mushrooms. I like a lot of veggies in mine. I know a lot of people like beef, but I try to try it. Oh my God, this is my eyes water. Like I was saying, I like to do a lot of vegetables in mine because this can be a super unhealthy thing. It's supposed to taste unhealthy and great, but you can actually make it a little bit healthier. So I like to go a little more heavy on the vegetables. And just run your knife through those mushrooms a few times. All right, so you got your red bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, white onion, and your mushrooms all cut up. We're gonna move the cameras over to the stove and we're gonna get this thing popping. Let's get it. All right, so we're over here at the stove. I've got a cast iron pan and I've got a regular large saute pan. I got a couple tablespoons of grapeseed oil in here, just enough to kind of like cover the bottom of that pan. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and scoop all these vegetables in at the same time. On that real quick, slide that in. Once you have all your vegetables in here, you're just gonna mix them around, just kinda disperse that oil a little bit. And as they cook, they're gonna shrink. You're gonna have more room in here to kinda move things around a little bit. Um, but what we can do in the meantime while we wait for this to saute. So I know you're probably gonna hear this popping in the back a little bit, but we're gonna talk about buns because it's, it's a topic we need to discuss. I'm in Florida, we're not in Philly. Traditionally, you would use like Amoroso buns, but I cannot get them. I've looked everywhere. I've tried a bunch of different breads and uh, this right here is probably my favorite. Um, it's just a fresh hoagie roll baked daily at Publix. It's a little spongy, it's a little bit tough. You don't want it too soft like some real white bread shit because when you load it up with all the cheese, all the meat, all the onions, it's, it's gonna get soggy. So you want something with a little bit of resistance because we're gonna steam this in a little bit and you're just gonna cut it right down the middle, open it up a bit, 
give yourself a little bit of room to work. So I got both my buns here on this cutting board and what I'll do is I'll take some mayo when we're a little bit closer to being done with the veggies and I'll put it in here and just do a nice heavy coat on both sides. Just gonna continue to mix your vegetables, let them cook. I would say babysit these for like six to eight minutes. The more you have, the longer it'll take to cook, but you're just pretty much gonna cook these until your onions are translucent, all your vegetables become soft, they look a little bit more juicy, and then they'll be ready to go. All right, it's been about five minutes. As you can see, our vegetables have cooked down quite a bit. They're nice, they browned, and these are gonna be good to go. So what I'm gonna do is swap these. I'm gonna put the cast iron on the heat, leave those off the heat, and then again, I'm just gonna take a couple tablespoons of grapeseed oil, coat the bottom of this pan real well. This pan's gonna get hot, and the reason we're using cast iron is because when we take the ribeye, I'm gonna use something metal to kind of just chop it up a little bit, and I don't wanna mess up the non-stick coating on the other pans. Okay, here we go. So, I'm just gonna take this, and we'll see how this works. I haven't, uh, I haven't done this yet. So, all right, let's try it. Um, I don't know where my metal tool is that I want to use, so I've got this right here. It's just kind of like a little, little meat thing. So it's not really working the way I want it to. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's breaking up a little bit. All right, let's keep throwing this beef in there. We're gonna use this. We're gonna make it work. We make it work in the kitchen. Sometimes it doesn't go as planned, but you gotta make it work. Let this cook. Still got a little bit of red left in the meat. We're gonna make sure we get rid of all that, but we don't wanna overcook this too much. It's looking good though. It's looking like Philly cheesesteak beef. Right as it's about to finish, I'm just gonna hit this. About a tablespoon of salt. Put those veggies with a little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper on both. So there is still a little bit of uh, pink slices in there, but we're gonna, it's gonna cook a little bit more. So I'm not gonna go over the top. Take my saute pan with my vegetables, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and put all my beef in here. We're gonna go ahead and mix our vegetables in at this point. Yeah, it looks bomb. All right, so what I'm gonna do at this point, is we got this on low. I've never cooked this much. Again, sometimes you just gotta improvise in the kitchen. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna move this over here, slide our cast iron back over here, and then I'm gonna take my first sandwich, my first serving, and I'm just gonna put it in here, nice and mixed. So what I usually do is I do like one straight line right down the middle, good size, just like that. Line it up, see that Rob? Looks good? Cool. We're gonna take our American cheese, and then we're just gonna put, honestly, I like it really cheesy and creamy, so that's four. Let's do five slices. And right now it's gonna steam because we're gonna take a lid and drop a lid right on top. Um, obviously we've got maybe two or three more sandwiches in here. We're gonna let this melt, and while that's melting, we're gonna take our bread. So this will be our first sandwich right here, mayo. And then we're just gonna do a liberal amount on the top and on the bottom and then just spread it so it's evenly coated. Looks good to me. I'm not a professional, guys. I just know how to make food taste good and uh, that's what I'm here to do, share it with you. Because this bread is not like super soft and it's not gonna tear apart easy, we're gonna steam it. So as soon as this cheese is done, uh, I'm gonna put this on top and we're gonna let it steam as well ready to go so I'm gonna take my bread spread it right over the top 
and then we're gonna cover that for about 60 seconds. So right now I got 60 seconds to ask you guys to please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you hit that like button. If you've made it this far in the video, right now in the comment section, why don't you drop Philly, P-H-I-L-L-Y. I'll know who's really a rider. We're looking like close to a minute, so I'm gonna check it right now. It's nice and spongy, that thing is ready to go. I think we're gonna take this over the counter and we're gonna plate it over there, cause it's ready. So, get ready for slow-mo, let's do it. have it guys we have our Farnham style Philly cheesesteak with our red yellow bell pepper our onions obviously our shredded ribeye and our American cheese it looks amazing and I made a couple different batches because we've got a couple different bitches here today uh, yeah introducing our celebrity taste testers right now we've got my boy Zach you've seen him before He's a sweaty mess once upon a time. He's back in action. Say what up. We got my boy T back on the show. Say what up, T. And my brother Troy from the Harlem Globe Trotters. Welcome hey. back in. Interesting All enough, yours. Troy is actually a vegan. So I want to let you guys know that if you are a vegan and you're watching this, take the cheese out, use a vegan cheese, and instead of using beef, just go ahead and use a bunch of mushroom, and that'll be a good substitute. So, um, how you guys feel about this? How's it smell, first that off? Smells it smells good. delicious. It smells it's amazing? Good, yeah. yeah. Look at them and tell them. It smells very good, very loud, you know. I might good. take a bite. You might yeah. take a bite? Oh. Yo, Zach wants you guys to subscribe also. Hey, don't forget to subscribe, all right? Yep. He took his shirt off of the channel. All right. Oh, so you guys gotta subscribe, to subscribe at some subscribe. point. All right, so um, these two are gonna be super hot, I believe. So I'm just gonna let you guys know, um, camera died and we lost the main footage, but they did try it out and it went a little something like this. Mmm. Damn. So many flavors. What the f This shit, mother... Don't talk with your mouth full. No, talk with your mouth full. Let yeah, them know, talk man. Talk with your mouth full. <laughs> <Talk with> your <laughs> mouth full. <laughs> How is it, bro? This is delicious, man. Like Troy, what the? Oh, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna be a good friend. You are not breaking the vegan I'm diet. Breaking, I thought it was the mushroom. Y'all mushroom. get in the comments. Tell them to make some vegan options. Man. Whoa, is this restaurant it's quality? Another, yeah, definitely. This one of the best really juice yeah. I've ever had. I already ate it, but that's just fire. Um, cheese was amazing. So many flavors. Just, <laughs> so good. It's a masterpiece. What about this you? This is the best so Philly cheesesteak I've ever had. For I've never been to Philly, but I've had several Philly cheesesteaks. Fire. So obviously we lost some reactions on the A camera. It's been six months since we filmed, so we gotta get back in the swing of things. But luckily I made a second one, and my boy Rob is gonna come over and he's gonna try this. So we got my boy Rob here who's behind the cameras, and you're gonna get an authentic action reaction on the A camera. So you pick your poison, my man. Take a bite, let him know. Solid. Mm. That's amazing. Mm. Let him know. He, he inhaling the whole shit. He can't even talk. This is bang. And there you have it, guys. Those cheese steaks did not last very long. These are incredibly easy, super flavorful, and super filling. Everybody's gonna love them. Uh, like I said, it took maybe 15, 20 minutes to do the whole thing from beginning to end. My name is Farnham. This is more seasoning. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button and drop a comment below. If you've made it this far, go ahead and drop the word red down below. And let's see who made it to the end. Appreciate you guys. We'll be back next week with another incredible, what is this? Recipe? Video. We'll be back with another video next week. Love y'all. That's it. You got your red onion, yellow onion. What? These are not onions. And you gonna wipe these Did that die? Things. Oh my God, don't tell me it died again. No, this is stupid. I don't like this. Hold on. Smash that like. Smash that like button. Was oh, that camera? Yeah. That yeah, like keep, button. Keep talking with your mouth full too. Like, right. comment, subscribe, <laughs> all that. All that.